demonstration of video today we are going to demonstrate about hybrid water pumping system yeah hybrid we mean you can use both ac and dc power this we mean direct current direct current can be energy from solar panels uh, from batteries or any device that produces direct current like some generators uh, ac we mean alternating current alternating current we mean uh, power from national grid uh, power from generators that produces alternating current and other device that produces alternating current so our system today can use both uh, dc or solar in this case we shall see the solar panels and ac and we shall see how we have connected the ac uh, this is our water source today it is a uh, rain water vesting tank up to 300,000 liters and uh, the reason behind or why we selected for a hybrid system is that uh, uh, where we have installed this system is a school, a secondary school, and it has a boarding section on it. Uh, so in that case, during rain seasons um, and maybe cloudy days, you know that the water demand may reduce, but um, it, it will not reduce much. Like irrigation. For irrigation, you can only use you can use only solar. But for uh, purposes where the water demands doesn't or don't fluctuate much, you may need a hybrid system. But also there are other factors considered, like the water source uh, usage patterns and etc. And we have selected uh, an automatic system so that we don't have blackout of water during like at night. Um, like maybe when students wake up at around 5 a.m. Uh, so when the system is automatic, it means when they use part of the water, the pump refills that water and it keeps the pump, the, it keeps the uh, the main reservoir or the source reservoir or the tanks with water always. Yeah, we are going to go uh, and see our tanks, uh, but from a distance, my camera. Camera woman can show you the tank connected in the parallel, and we shall see the controller then. Uh, and, the, and the controller. So, um, so the other advantage of our controller is that. You don't need a water level switch in the well. So when you, when when the water level goes beyond the uh, the, the the pump level, it will automatically switch off and give you an error on the on the controller. Okay, let me put back and then we can see the tanks and the other system components. Yes, those are our tanks. Uh, two tanks of 10,000 liters each connected in parallel so uh, we have connected um, a tank level switch in that tank in the upper tank so the upper tank fills the lower tank and the lower tank we have connected a manual uh, float ball valve so when the lower tank gets full the valve closes and then the upper tank starts filling and when the upper tank gets full, the water level switch uh, connected through that pipe up to the ground and up to the controller that is inside. Uh, the controller will turn off the pump automatically, so there is no overflow, there is no wastage of water, and there is no need of uh, any person being there to monitor whether the tank gets full or when it gets empty. So when part of the water is used, um, and the water level goes below the level switch the controller will automatically switch on the pump and then it fills what will have been used uh, so these are solar panels we have connected four of them um, and that wire takes power from the solar panels uh, to the controller through a circuit breaker so let's go and see the controller and then the features of the controller yeah, so our wire from the 
uh, from the level switch in the upper tank come through that pipe uh, buried underground goes through that conduit uh, goes up and then uh, up to the controller inside let's go and see the controller inside and let's see our reservoir from a distance yeah that is the, the reservoir from a distance um, yeah let's go and see the controller connected inside okay let me keep my camera on so you will get a view of how things look like here um, we are currently pumping water but only using DC that's why the DC uh, the DC lighting is lighting green um, but we, we, in this controller we can have both AC and DC and we can set different parameters yeah let's first see um, our circuit breakers so these two circuit breakers one is for DC and now the for DC uh, it's currently closed so it is allowing in power to go to the controller and AC is currently off but we are going to uh, switch it on for demonstration purposes yeah now when you switch on your AC this is this AC light it will light green showing you that you now have AC power as well but DC power as well is um, like is also is also in the controller uh, so when we come to operations modes we have DC AC uh, automatic or auto and hybrid uh, and our controller you can the RCL is remotely controlled lighting. Uh, you can put your SIM card inside and you can switch on and off the system or the controller wherever you are, so long as you have um, internet. Um, yeah, I'll open and receive our SIM card, but let's understand what these uh, operating, different operating modes mean. Yeah, the DC, you can select only DC whereby even if AC is available um, the controller will only use DC so you, you won't be metered for AC and the rest will be present in the controller you can select only AC uh, let's select and see so you can switch to only AC and you leave out DC um, however much you have DC present in the controller um, yeah it means now the pump will only be running on AC you can select auto, automatic, or automatic. Automatic means that uh, um, the, the the controller will select AC only if DC power is insufficient, is not enough to run the pump. But if there is uh, there is any DC power that is uh, that mean that, that that meets the minimum voltage required and current the controller will only select dc even if ac will be uh, will be available for example at night when there's no sunlight and you have selected auto or automatic the controller will continue pumping so long as uh, um, it is filling it like it is uh, delivering water somewhere when the tanks are not uh, full you can select hybrid okay the advantage of automatic is that most of the times you'll be using dc so you'll be using less ac and you only use ac during night and early morning or on a very clouded day um let's select hybrid yeah you can select hybrid hybrid means that when there is uh, uh when there is insufficient dc um the controller will compensate the balance of the power with ac such that it runs the pump at maximum output yeah let's see inside how it looks so that is our sim card and the different wires 